NASA engineers discovered that the probe's attitude articulation and control system had switched to sending its telemetry data through an onboard computer that hadn't worked for years, causing it to become corrupted. This accounts for why seemingly random data was arriving back on Earth. The problem was resolved by asking the AACS to start sending its data through the correct computer again, which it has now done. Uncorrupted data is being received once more. What remains a mystery is why the AACS decided to switch to using the broken computer. NASA suspects it received a faulty command generated by another onboard computer, but the Voyager team doesn't know which one and what fault would cause that to happen yet. According to Suzanne Dodd, Voyager's project manager, we'll do a full memory readout of the AACS and look at everything it's been doing. That will help us try to diagnose the problem that caused the telemetry issue in the first place. So we're cautiously optimistic, but we still have more investigating to do. Voyager 1 continues to return science data and otherwise operate as normal, but readouts beamed back to Earth from the probe's attitude, articulation and control system don't reflect what's happening on board. As NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory explains, the AACS, which keeps Voyager 1's antenna pointed at Earth, appears to be in working order. The telemetry data it's returning, though, is invalid appearing randomly generated or not reflective of the system's possible state. No onboard fault protection systems have been triggered and the spacecraft has not yet entered safe mode, nor has Voyager 1's signal weakened. A mystery like this is sort of par for the course at this stage of the Voyager mission, according to Suzanne Dodd, JPL project manager for Voyager 1 and 2. The spacecraft are both almost 45 years old, which is far beyond what the mission planners anticipated. Dodd also points out, interstellar space is a high radiation environment that no spacecraft have flown in before. So a few strange events that take some time to explain should come as no surprise. Voyager 1 became the first human-made object to reach interstellar space in 2013, 36 years after leaving Earth. The space probe, launched in 1977 as part of the Voyager program, is currently 14.5 billion miles from Earth, and it therefore takes nearly two days, 20 hours and 33 minutes, to send a message and receive a response. Delay aside, it's possible the mission team may not discover the anomaly's source and instead have to adapt to it, Dodd explained. On the other hand, if they do manage to solve the problem, it could be fixed through some remote software changes or by using one of the craft's redundant hardware systems. In 2017, Voyager 1's primary thrusters showed signs of degradation, forcing engineers to switch to another set previously used 37 years earlier during the probe's planetary encounters. NASA's Voyager 1 spacecraft has experienced a computer glitch that's causing a bit of a communication breakdown between the 46-year-old probe and its mission team on Earth. Engineers are currently trying to solve the issue as the aging spacecraft explores uncharted cosmic territory along the outer reaches of the solar system. Voyager 1 is currently the farthest spacecraft from Earth at about 15 billion miles, 24 billion kilometers away, while its twin Voyager 2 has traveled more than 12 billion miles, 20 billion kilometers, from our planet. Both are in interstellar space and are the only spacecraft ever to operate beyond the heliosphere, the sun's bubble of magnetic fields and particles that extends well beyond the orbit of Pluto. 
Initially designed to last five years, the Voyager probes are the two longest operating spacecraft in history. Their exceptionally long lifespans mean that both spacecraft have provided additional insights about our solar system and beyond after achieving their preliminary goals of flying by Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune decades ago. But their unexpectedly lengthy journeys have not been without challenges. Voyager 1 has three onboard computers, including a flight data system that collects information from the spacecraft's science instruments and bundles it with engineering data that reflects the current health status of Voyager 1. Mission Control on Earth receives that data in binary code or a series of ones and zeros. But Voyager 1's flight data system now appears to be stuck on auto-repeat in a scenario reminiscent of the film Groundhog Day. The mission team first noticed the issue November 14th, when the flight data system's telecommunications unit began sending back a repeating pattern of ones and zeros like it was trapped in a loop. As both Voyager probes experience new trials, mission team members have only the original manuals written decades ago to consult, and those couldn't account for the challenges the spacecraft are facing as they age. The Voyager team wants to consider all of the potential implications before sending more commands to the spacecraft to make sure its operations aren't impacted in an unexpected way. Voyager 1 is so far away that it takes 22.5 hours for commands sent from Earth to reach the spacecraft. Additionally, the team must wait 45 hours to receive a response. As the aging twin Voyager probes continue exploring the cosmos, the team has slowly turned off instruments on these senior citizens to conserve power and extend their missions, Voyager's project manager, Suzanne Dodd, previously told CNN. Along the way, both spacecraft have encountered unexpected issues and dropouts, including a seven-month period in 2020 when Voyager 2 couldn't communicate with Earth. In August, the mission team used a long-shot shout technique to restore communications with Voyager 2 after a command inadvertently oriented the spacecraft's antenna in the wrong direction. While the team hopes to restore the regular stream of data sent back by Voyager 1, the mission's main value lies in its long duration, Cofield said. For example, scientists want to see how particles and magnetic fields change as the probes fly farther away from the heliosphere, but that data set will be incomplete if Voyager 1 can't return information as it continues on. The mission team has been creative with its strategies for extending the power supply on both spacecraft in recent years to allow their record-breaking missions to continue. The Voyagers are performing far, far past their prime missions and longer than any other spacecraft in history, Cofield said. So, while the engineering team is working hard to keep them alive, we also fully expect issues to arise. So friends, what do you think about this? Write your views in the comments section. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get interesting videos. If you like the video, please like and share the video.